In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a feature that's new in InDesign CS5. Before when you wanted to create a title flowing with the text on the page, you have to create a second frame, a separate frame, and then change the title here. What you can now do is, let's grab the text tool here, and let's drag out a text frame on this empty document. I'm going to fill this with some place. Actually, I'm going to make, I'm going to go into my paragraphs, and I'm going to make three columns. Then I'm going to fill it with some placeholder text. I'm going to zoom in here a bit to 100 so we can see the text. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for style's sake here, I'm going to end my paragraphs. I'm going to select justify with last line line left so we get some nice looking effect here. I'm also going to make sure it I'm not going to make a drop cap, uh, but I am going to make some some insets here, starting each top of the line, or just insert the word here, because we're using these types of paragraphs breaks. I'm going to take the first line, and I'm going to make that into a new line here, and I want to use this first bit as a title. What I can do now in CS5 is that I can select this, and if I am inside of my title under the paragraph formatting controls, I can go ahead and next to the columns and next to the gutter, I have a new here, say span columns. What I can do here is select span all. So I can span two columns, which it's doing right now. I can span three columns, four columns if I have, or span all columns. I can also split this into two columns on the page three columns in one column or on the page or four columns. What I want to do here is span it across all. And on this I can apply a paragraph style, so let's make a new paragraph style just for this, and I'm going to call it title. Let's preview it, and I'm going to increase the size, maybe increase it to 40, nah, perhaps a bit big, 24 here. And I am going to change, I can change the letting here if I want, keep it at auto. I can shift this with the baseline if I want to increase some spacing here. Uh, intense spacing, I'm going to increase space after here instead. I'm going to do baseline shift 0. And what I can do is actually I'm going to do a bold italic here. And just to finish it off, some a different color, or just keep it black. We now have a title that we can change with a paragraph style. And if I want to make anything else in here, a title spanning across, I can just take it, just make something a title here. And I'm going to apply the same title here. And it's going to span across all of these columns right as before. So that is a very easy way now to make things span across multiple columns when it comes to text.